Hello to all my people out there in Contagion Nation. This is Thrash Pondo, The Pawns, and I'm here with another review for you guys today. This one's kind of a funny one. It is the 80s classic schlock sci-fi epic, The She-Wolves of the Wasteland. But here's the funny part. I remember seeing it years ago on many of you middle-aged sci-fi buffs might remember a TV series called USA Up All Night. Uh, with uh, Caroline Schlitt, as well as Aronda Spear, and, of course, Gilbert Gottfried. They would bring on the best that the 80s had to offer for, one could only say, schlock. But they released it as something called Phoenix the Warrior. Now, I saw it years ago, always kind of wanted to see it again. Never found it until I realized it was actually released under another name to a movie I'd actually gotten off a friend of mine, but never actually watched. So I rewatched it, and i got to tell you, it's a lot of fun. It's dated, it's exploitative, the acting is inconsistent, and, well, that pretty much covers it, but it's a lot of fun. It's set in the distant future, where a terrible cataclysm has basically destroyed all the men. So all that's left are scantily clad women roaming a wasteland, killing each other. Now, one of whom is the title character, Phoenix, who discovers a young woman who is carrying what may be the last man on Earth. It also features a wonderful sci-fi edition, uh, Persis Kambata, R.I.P., who many of you will probably remember from Star Trek The Motion Picture. We lost her way too young. Anyway, if you get a chance, check this out. Like I say, it's sort of Mad Max meets a, meets a uh, Gentleman's Club version of Mad Max. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of fun and good for a few laughs and great nostalgia for you 80s sci-fi junkies. Go out, check it out. Actually, don't go. Stay in, check it out. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. If not, all good things come to those who wait. And God knows we've learned patience these days. Take care and keep watching. Bye.